which display is the best for the Raspberry Pico? Let's check this today. Projects with the Raspberry Pico are great and usually you need a display for many of those applications. Um, we did a video with the Pimoroni display and I thought let's take a look at a few of these displays. So I took five displays and compared them. Let's go. We will look for example on the SSD 1306 display and this is um, using the frame buffer library and let's first take a look what kind of drivers and libraries we need uh, to use a display. Yeah, why do we need to take a look at it? Because um, you need to access the display and the physical layer, for example, usually we have displays using I2C or the SPI protocol. And if you want to deal with it on your own, you need uh, to perform a lot of uh, timing actions. So you need to synchronize on the clock, uh, on the edges of the clock and so on. So all these little things to deal on the physical layer. And if you don't want to do this, you need a driver. And the driver takes over this task for you so you can focus on your work um, displaying something. But sometimes it's even better to have a library on top of the driver and it does may contain the driver. So the library is even more powerful. In this case, you might have some examples or not even examples, some methods, uh, for example, to change the font and the font size and the color and so on. And these libraries can be powerful and they can be quite simple. And these libraries need also to match the language you use. In my case, I want to use MicroPython. So I need libraries which are powerful if possible and made for, for MicroPython. And actually, this might be one of the biggest differences using a display for the Pico. So take a look at these two displays. On top you see the Pimoroni uh, display and below a Waveshare uh, display. And um, yeah, different size, but both have color. But the biggest difference really is the support of the libraries. To understand this, let's take a look into the Python code for dealing with the libraries. I took uh, just the yeah, in need of both displays and a little demo. And on top you see here the Pimoroni part. I import from the Pimoroni library the RGB LED and from the Pico graphics, also from Pimoroni, some further parts so that we can deal with the display. And then we will set up the display. And you see what I do here. I change, for example, the backlight. So there is a simple method existing to set the backlight of the display. Display. Um, and you can also see that I change the font. So there's a simple way to set a specific font. And you can also see how to change the color, also easy. And you can even set a JPEG file directly and set uh, the, or open the file directly on the display without a binary coding. It's all done by the library. And of course, also displaying text is quite easy using the Pimoroni libraries. Now let's take a look at the Waveshare display. The Waveshare needs the frame buffer library and there's also a little uh, Pico LCD yeah, driver, let's say driver, because it mainly takes over the task um, to deal with the uh, timing and uh, accessing the display on the SPI, but it's not helping you, for example, with fonts or any other uh, thing you want to have on a higher, uh, higher level. So you need to do this on your own. Uh, there are some colors set, but that's it. And the frame buffer library is a common library, which uh, is helping you, let's say, but it's quite simple. So, for example, if you want to have a picture, a JPEG, you need to convert this to a binary array. And this binary array, you can see here in mono in this case, if you want to have this in color, it's quite complicated. And even in mono, it's complicated just to show a simple little icon. Um, 
Of course, it's maybe faster because you have this converted to binary already, but you have to deal with this on a lower level compared to the Pico, where you even can set uh, the size of the display or of the of the picture or for frame buffer. You really need to convert this on the right pixel size. You can set text uh, elements, but uh, changing the font uh, is not possible um, using the frame buffer library. So then you need to have a library or something different or you need to do this on your own. And that's why the Pico library is more powerful. If you remember my first uh, video about the Raspberry Pico, we uh, used the display 1602, so a segment display to get it working. And we had to import a library of Dave Highlands, uh, thanks Dave again, for providing such a library so we don't have to deal on the lower levels. But still on this display we had to look for the address of I2C manually and find the address and so on. So that was a part we had to deal with just to get some segments on the display. We could use text with the library but uh, there is no different font and so on of course on a segment display but already this display was not as powerful as the Pimoroni library is and I just want to emphasize um, you might pay more sometimes for a better display and the display look might look even the same sometimes but you get support on library level and that's also worth something. So let's compare the five displays I announced. And uh, number one for me is the Pomoroni display. Maybe you guessed it already because I think that the libraries of the Pomoroni displays are quite powerful. I also like the color. It's an IPS panel, so it really looks good. It's easy to deal with. It has buttons, it has um, even a little LED. So the Pomoroni display is really, really quite nice. The second one is the OLED display, the 1306, because I like this OLED flare, the colors are quite nice, even if it's uh, not a color display, just black and white, but it looks good. It's using the frame buffer library. This is a little disadvantage. You don't have all the power, but if you just need a simple display, it's, it's really good and it's the best choice if it comes to the price. And we have the wave share with 1.8 inch and this one is huh, difficult. It's not that expensive. On the other hand, I don't like the driver library which is available. It's too simple. It's difficult to use the display with Python. And, and sometimes you also have to build your own things. So for a color display, I need a more powerful library. That's it. The LCD. 1602 is quite simple. It's cheap and it's okay if it's enough for you using a segment display. Um, but honestly, it's not state of the art in my opinion. It's too big. The last one is the WaveShare 0.91 inch. And I like this little display. However, with a standard driver for the chip, which is also used on the Big Brother, the place number two, it is not working. Um, even if you change the resolution because it's just half of the height. So unfortunately it didn't work out of the box. So last place, but usually this could be quite nice display. If I have time, I look for a better library for that one. So this were our five displays we wanted to compare. I hope you enjoyed it and you could find the display which is perfect for you and perfect for the job. So there is not the one and only display. If I just have a little task, the um, 1306 is the one I would take. If I have bigger tasks and I want to play a little bit more with colors and, and I need the library support, I would take the Pimoroni for sure. So if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel, leave a thumb up and thank you so much. See you next time. See you next time.